Robin Hood Radio presents the commentary of Don Morrison. Don is a former editor at Time Magazine. He's an author, lecturer, and member of the Berkshire Eagle Advisory Board. In the summer of 1942, the German army attacked the Russian city of Stalingrad from the north. The Russians weren't expecting that. The only defenders they had up there were the 1077th Anti-Aircraft Regiment, staffed entirely by women. I'd been saving this nugget for some commentary on, I don't know, women in the military, but this seems like a good time. It's not that women are under attack, though you might think that from the recent Supreme Court confirmation hearings, or because our mostly male Congress just let the Violence Against Women Act expire, or because this is uh, Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Nice irony there. No, I dragged out my little anecdote because history seems to be repeating. Those women at Stalingrad were untrained, untested, unappreciated by their male colleagues. Of course, women have always faced odds like that, and often they surprise us. Christine Blasey Ford certainly did with her testimony at the recent hearings. Our wives and mothers do constantly with their ability to bear children, run household, hold jobs, pursue careers. Too often we've responded to their accomplishments with indifference, derision, drunken violence. As I watched those hearings, I noticed something. A slam-dunk confirmation instead became an ordeal for our elected officials, especially for the party with no female members in the hearing room, the party that opposes family leave and equal pay, whose Supreme Court nominee wants to restrict a woman's right to choose and maybe even access to birth control, the party whose president separates mothers from their children, who boasts of his own sexual mischief, and the other day insulted a female journalist on live TV. Something is stirring. Women have long voted Democratic, though by small margins. That gender gap is becoming a chasm. Vast numbers of women are running for office this year, some of them Republicans. That's good news for America. Its citizens are, after all, 51% women, and their wisdom and competence are too seldom appreciated. That wasn't the case at Stalingrad. Facing certain death, the women of the 1077th used their anti-aircraft guns to hold off the German attackers for two precious days. Stalingrad did not fall. The German army was crushed. There's a similar battle coming. On November 6th, we mighty he-men can only hope that women, as they did in the summer of 42, rally to save us, not just from attackers, but from our own blind vanity. I'm Don Morrison. Don Morrison is an author and editor. He's taught at universities in the United States, Europe, and Asia. He's the European editor of the British magazine Port and a member of the Berkshire Eagle Advisory Board. He lives in Paris, Miami, and in Berkshire County.